Have you ever had a buggy driver break your system, but every time you try to downgrade the driver, Windows 10 just updates it again? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to permanently block a specific driver from updating in Windows 10. Stay tuned. If you're watching this video, then you're either having this problem now or you've had it in the past to where Windows 10 updates your driver and then all of a sudden your favorite game stops working. Or worse, your system breaks completely. I had this issue happen with a Dell notebook recently with the Radeon R5 driver just makes the mouse sputter constantly. Unfortunately, the system was practically unusable. The only way to deal with it was to disable the graphics card. However, that's not a solution. And unfortunately, it's not something I think AMD is gonna fix anytime soon because they're blaming Dell and Windows 10 and Dell, they're blaming Windows 10 and ATI. So honestly, nobody is really gonna come to a conclusion because everyone's blaming everyone else. And in the end, they still have a bunch of broken Dell notebooks with Radeon R5 graphics cards in them. So the solution to this problem was to use a driver way back from 2017. However, when you install this driver, it works perfect, but then Windows Update automatically updates it to the newer version and it breaks it again. So the way you would normally solve this issue is just disable automatic driver updates. However, this has some adverse side effects because then when you go to plug another device into your computer, like a thumb drive or an external hard drive, the drivers don't install, you have to do it manually. And honestly, that's actually not a solution. So I found a neat little registry hack that will allow you to block a driver update based on hardware ID specifically. So it only affects that specific piece of hardware. Let me show you how to do it. All right, from Windows, this is actually a really easy little registry hack here. What you're gonna do is click on your start menu and just start typing. There's no search box anymore, but if you just start typing regedit, it should show up on the screen here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna hit yes, and here is our registry editor. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is go into local machine, then software, then we wanna go down to policies, and then from policies we wanna open Microsoft, and then we wanna click on Windows. And then from in here, we need to actually make a new key. So we're gonna right click in here, and we're gonna hit new key, and we're gonna type device install, one word. And then from within device install, you're gonna right click again, hit new key, and we're gonna type in restrictions. And then from there, we're gonna actually create a couple values in here. So we're gonna right click, hit new, and we wanna put D word 32 bit. And for that, we wanna type in deny device IDs. And then we wanna create another one. And this one is going to be deny device IDs retroactive. And then from there, what we wanna do is we're gonna leave this value as zero, but for the deny, deny device IDs, we wanna open that and we wanna change that to one. And then from in here, we wanna create another key. And for this key, we're gonna call this one, deny device IDs. And then from in here, we need to make another value. And for this one, we wanna make it a string value. And for the name, it's just gonna be one. And then we're gonna double click on it to open it. And then this is where you put your hardware ID in. And to get your hardware ID, we're gonna right click on the start menu here and we're gonna go into device manager. In this case, I'm gonna use the display adapter as an example because typically it's your video driver that is causing you the problem. 
Um, but this, this could apply to any driver. But for this example, I'm going to use the video driver. We're going to go ahead and double click on the video card. We're going to go over to details. And then from the details tab, we want to check hardware ID. And then we want this first value, the longest one right here. We're going to right click on it and hit copy. And then we can go ahead and close this. And we're going to paste this value into this value data here and hit OK. And that's it. Alternatively, if you're not comfortable adding all of these keys and strings to the registry, I'm going to have a reg file that's available on my website. The link should be in the description below. Now, to install this, what you're going to have to do is first download it from my website. And then after you do that, you just double click on it. Go ahead and hit yes. And it's going to ask you if you want to add it into the registry. You hit yes and it'll confirm that it's done so. And then you hit OK. And now all of the specific keys and strings that we entered before should already be in your registry now. So now to edit those, you're going to go ahead and click on the Start button. You're going to type Reg Edit. And then open it up. Hit Yes. And now from here, you're going to want to go to Local Machine and then Software. You want to scroll down until you find policies. From there you're going to go into Microsoft and then from there you want to go into Windows. Now from Windows here's the key that we installed right here. It's device install. So we click on that, open up the restrictions key and then right down here the last one, the deny device IDs, we click on that and you'll have this right here that says place ID here. This is the one that you actually want to edit. So we're going to open this up and then from here, we're going to go down, right click on the start button. We're going to click on device manager. And then in device manager, we're going to select our display adapter. We're going to use this as an example here too. And we're going to double click on our display adapter. And that's going to give us our properties window. From here, we click on details. And then in the property dropdown, we're going to select hardware IDs. And then we want this first ID here, the longer one. We're going to right click on that and hit copy. And then from there, we can go ahead and close this and then replace where it says place device ID here. We're just going to go ahead and hit paste and hit OK. And there you go. Now, keep in mind, this will not allow you to install a driver for that specific hardware ID. So if you want to install the driver later on, you're going to have to remove the hardware ID from the registry. If you don't feel comfortable adding all these keys and values to your registry, you can actually download a reg file that I'm going to have on my website. The link will be in the description below. If you like this video, then please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, while you're here, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.